Uh, I don't know. I haven't seen it. I just saw it hit the net, and uh, just thought he'd score. Uh, he said he, he appreciated not. He didn't. He didn't like being put in that situation, but he appreciated not being given time to think about it. So he tapped him and said, "Go," and he just got. Up and yeah, a lot of times when you don't have time to think, I think it's an advantage, and you see that a lot um, when a goalie gets pulled. The other goalie comes in and they shut the door because there's no time to overthink the game. And he just went in and did, did what he does, which is shoot the puck and scored a goal. Is that what, why did you use him? Well, I don't know. I just, he, I just felt that he was going to score. Element of surprise? Pardon me? The element of surprise. For what? Uh, for him? Picking him? or No, I just thought he was going to score. I had a feeling he was going to score. That's all. Um, Jose, say he saved you guys in the first period and also made, made a couple of really good moves. He's playing great. I mean, uh, he, there's three goals against, and they had 42 shots, eerily similar of a playoff game that we would have played them last year where they had outshoot us. And I thought below the circles, uh, uh, we didn't clear out well enough. But they were a determined, gritty bunch tonight. That's, that's why they're the Stanley Cup champions. Yeah, I mean, well, it's never say die. I mean, uh, uh, I don't know uh, how often, you know, you get down 2-0 in a shootout and, and you come back, but it's not the, the scoring. It's the thinking, oh, man, we're done. There's no way. And uh, I don't think we ever think that. You know, we're down in the th going into the third, and I, and I knew we thought we could win. And uh, we get the lead. We give one up. It was a bad goal and, and all, but... There's a lots of reasons to get down. They have five power plays to our one, you know. But uh, um, uh, I, I think that's the kind of kind of group we have. Sketchy you appreciate you. Momentum a lot. Were you worried at all when, when Simmons took off? It's because it seemed like he'd been out there for about maybe 90 seconds or so before he took off up the ice. For what? His goal? The shorthanded Yeah. Well, he wasn't on for 90 seconds. He was the third penalty kill change, but um, I'm always concerned at the end of a shift when you try to score a goal because if you don't score it, you don't have anything to get back. And uh, uh, but when he got it, and then Mike Green came in and joined the rush, and it was a three on two. I mean, you got to take advantage of of pure three on twos. And I think it was still their first unit out there, so I mean they were dead tired to get back. So. Uh, as long as he gets the shot away and doesn't get checked, where it's going the other way, we're okay in that situation. Sketchy officiating side. Um, uh, I'm not saying penalties. not saying a word. Too many penalties. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Did you guys do feel like you guys were, were a little? No, don't try. <laughs> <laughs> Flyers with two penalties. I mean, did you guys take too many? Though? Yeah, five penalties is too many. I mean, that's ten minutes in the box. That means the lines get all skewed and. Uh, uh, Guy, you, you, you know, you're sitting guys that you want don't want to sit for 10 minutes. So, um, uh, and that's two games in a row, and it's stick penalties. So it's uh, uh, it's something we have to cure. So I mean, the overall feeling, of, you know, elation that coming back, or a little bit annoyed that you surrendered a goal there with three to go. I think it's a combination, you know. I mean, but you got to be more proud of them coming back in the situation that we're in. You know, I mean, uh, uh, I know they were missing Goncher and Malkin, and we're missing Brooks, is, you know, who you realize when it's the first time I haven't coached when he's in the lineup, how often I use him. An important, uh, important member of our team. Bruce, Bruce, Bruce. I obviously know what Mike knew a little bit on the ice tonight, but you talked about his presence as a kind of a stabilizing veteran force in the locker room and what he brings to the team. Well, well, I mean, he is, and he's a veteran, and he does a great job. I'm usually not in there when he's doing his work, but. Uh, uh, he's a guy that uh, is very level-headed, that you can bounce things off of, and he, and he usually makes good sense of a lot of the stuff. When you're having a really great season, is it important to keep it going for a game like this before you struggle off, probably? I don't know. I, you know what? I, I wrestle with this all the time. I mean, I'm, I was saying before the game, I was thinking Arizona Cardinals, they rested all their guys. Indianapolis rests all their guys. They go to Super Bowl. Should we be resting? Should we be not putting as much emphasis on it? And then I've seen teams that rest their guys, and then they stink the first game in the playoffs. I, I think last year we didn't put emphasis on the end of the season. We lost games at home, and we lost the first two games until we got into a playoff mode. So, I mean, I, I bounce it off. Uh, both ways all the time. Believe me, it's 
it's what keeps me up at night. Talk, talk about not knowing who you're going to play in the first round. I mean, do you watch the standings and see which teams are moving up and moving down? And see if you drive me crazy. I don't know who you're yeah, yeah, well, believe me, I, that's, that's what I do. That's all I do. <laughs> I won 26. <laughs> it, it, well, it means a lot if you continue and you win it. If you don't, I'm sure there's a lot of coaches in San Jose that have felt not good after, not good, haven't felt well or <laughs> whatever the word is, <laughs> haven't felt right after they've lost in the first round. And it's a, it's a lot of pressure having the best regular season and because now you have to perform in the in the in the playoffs and I think you know not that we've we've won it or anything but I mean only seven out of 27 or so presidents trophy winners have won the cup so there's a lot of pressure and it's not it's not going to be easy and nothing's taken for granted at all ever I thought we killed penalties great tonight. We made one mistake, and they end up with a two-on-one with the wrong guy having the puck. And, but, I mean, the zone time in the last seven games has been cut down very, very significantly, and that's, that's really important. And uh, so it's, it's, it's a good sign. Bruce, I apologize if you addressed this, but Canoe will take that last shot. Was it a hunch? I mean, he was over four before the shooting. Well, I didn't know what he was before. I just thought he was going to score. So... Just and it's a big gut, so <laughs> that's stupid. Up and down. Like I thought he struggled behind, below the circles, but I thought once he got the puck and he was moving, he was making good plays. You know, he had another chance. I mean, uh, whether it's this year or, or not, I mean, he's going to start scoring a lot of goals because he hits the post or the crossbar every night. <laughs>